I'm Brittany Maxwell. I am an assistant professor of nursing as well here at St. Elizabeth School of Nursing. I have been teaching here for just a couple years, um, but I have almost 10 years experience as a nurse. I use Body Interact a lot with our more advanced med surge students. Instead of just doing a really two-dimensional case study on paper, I'll pull up the Body Interact on the screen in the front of the room and have the students kind of drive the scenario um, and have them make the choices and the interventions and see what happens with the patient so that they get a really accurate representation of if we gave that medication, how would the patient actually respond? And so it really forces them to engage in clinical decision making instead of just looking up an answer and putting what the book says is correct. I like running a scenario once, letting them kind of do it all on their own and then debriefing with them afterwards and asking them, why did you make this decision? Why did you make that decision? Body Interact does a really good job of on the debrief of what they expected us to do and why. And so the students get to see what they should have done or the appropriate interventions. So then we'll redo a scenario and the students will actually get to see um, all of the correct order of operations and the correct interventions and they'll get to compare it to that first time when they were on their own. And so I can pause the scenario and I can ask the students, what do you think is happening? Why are you doing that? You know, what are your thoughts? And really get a good idea of where they're at. So I use it a lot that way uh, with the actual table um, in our clinical setting because I think it gives us um, a really easy way to bring up clinical scenarios. It doesn't take a ton of prep time like a high fidelity simulation does. We just pull up the table and we pull up the software and within a couple minutes we're going. And then in the classroom, because we used a flip classroom method, um, we can talk about a disease process or a policy or a procedure and then we can pull up the scenario and have the students actually go through what we just talked about, which is really beneficial for them. Even now, uh, post pandemic, if a student misses clinical, I can assign them a scenario on Body Interact. They can do it from home and then they can either, um, you know, debrief and I can have them answer questions and send it to me, or we can meet on a video call and we can debrief the scenario. We, we used it a lot for, for the virtual simulation aspect of it, uh, but I think now we use it even more in person with the table. Um, and have them make the choices and the interventions and see what happens with the patient so that they get a really accurate representation of if we gave that medication, how would the patient actually respond? Uh, I think it's a bit more realistic in that sense so that they can actually see if they do the wrong thing, how will the patient really respond? It really forces them to engage in clinical decision making instead of just looking up an answer and putting what the book says is correct. My name is Jean Catron and I'm an assistant professor here at the St. Elizabeth School of Nursing. Um, I'm a registered nurse with 40 years of experience and I've been teaching for 14 years. I enjoy utilizing the Body Interact with the students. They, they have a lot of fun with Body Interact. I think they see it um, with their uh, generation loving video games and gaming. Um, they see it as a challenge of something they're trying to win. Um, so it engages them very well. Um, we tend to utilize it in the lower level clinicals um, just as a means for them to utilize their own clinical judgment without any type of input from the professor. It's just a, a means to practice, um, to explore different scenarios, and we do try to tie in the scenarios with the topic that we're studying in class at the time. I think, you know, one of the benefits with Body Interact is there are so many scenarios to choose from. And so, you know, oftentimes what we do is review the scenarios that are available to us so that we can kind of hand pick the scenario that best meets our needs for the concept that we're covering in the class and the level of student in the class too. Obviously with the fundamental students, we tend to like to utilize the basic scenarios. I think one other advantage of the Body Interact technology is that 
we don't have to have multiple mannequins. We don't have to have a baby and a pediatric patient and an adult and a birthing mom. They're all on there. You can go from very, very basic scenarios to very, very in-depth scenarios. So students anywhere in our curriculum can use it. It, it takes very little uh, onboarding as far as the students. Um, they're very tech savvy. Um, perhaps with faculty, it takes a little bit longer, but we, you know, we were provide thorough training so that we knew how to utilize the product. Really not difficult for us as faculty to use. I mean, it, it, I know new technology can be intimidating, but it's really not hard to figure out how it works. And we can run through the scenarios whenever we want as faculties. I would say, uh, you start using it and use it frequently because I was actually a little surprised, I'll be honest, about how much students really gave positive feedback. Um, students loved it more than I even thought they would. They want all of the experience they can get so that they feel more confident. As older faculty members, sometimes there is some fear and trepidation at utilizing new technology. It engages the students. Uh, which is important if we're going to keep their attention and achieve our learning outcomes. The benefits are worth the effort of learning how to use the program. It's important that you include a variety of different learning techniques in, in any curriculum. Um, it's a combination of all of those that produces successful students. It's really cool to be able to like interact with my students here and to actually do things to like help the patient to help us when we go to the actual facility and have an actual patient. I feel that it helped me a lot because I was like kind of scared with seeing the patient turn purple and blue. Just having that chance to be able to like come with interventions to help the patient come back was pretty neat. It gave me a sense of ease because we know that we're not actually killing the patient, yet we're still being put through all of those interventions and the things that we would do in an actual clinical setting without actually harming the patient. Realistic reactions that we would get from patients. It gave realistic like nursing interventions that we could actually choose, that we would actually do in a clinical setting. And I really like it because I am a hands-on learner, so reading books and stuff doesn't really make my brain click, but seeing those patient scenarios really helped me. And I think the Body Interact is really user-friendly. One of the big things I really enjoyed about using Body Interact today was being able to read this summary at the end of like our performance with the patient during the interaction, and then going back to the same patient and running those tests or doing whatever we missed the first time to see how it affected the patient differently, the outcome differently.